Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All, educational videos channel. We are continuing with learning scratch, we are continuing with learning scratch blocks, and in this video today, we are going to try to learn how and when to use scratch block, which is named letter of. Okay, let's go to scratch to see that in action. Letter of is one of the operator scratch blocks the green ones so click on the green circle to open operators block then find length uh, letter of sorry and drag and drop it to your coding window to the right uh, let's test it without attaching it into our code into our script a okay let's see what this block does we have two fields one is for the numbers i think no letters yeah i cannot type letters here and second is for numbers or letters i will type the apple because that was the default okay so what is this block used for these blocks will check uh, where is the letter what is the letter first letter of the apple in our case or if we change here number to two it will be p right third one is also p fourth one is l and the fifth one is e let's try with sixth why is this empty because this word apple has only five letters a p p l e so those are five letters so if you type some kind of number which is bigger than five in this case we will have problem it will be empty field okay you can also type numbers here so uh, again scratch doesn't care what this number represents uh, how big this num number is uh, the only thing uh, uh, scratch cares here in for this block is how many uh, ciphers how many letters are in it so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve twelve numbers so if i uh, type 15 it will be empty there are no 15 ciphers here but if i type three for example it will be one why because the third cipher is one and so on uh, this kind of uh, uh, block is again very very confusing for me in terms of where to use it it's very uh, I don't know how this to describe it it's not very useful in terms for uh, uh, some kind of games which don't have uh, words or so on or uh, for checking some kind of words I don't know really but anyway you can use this uh, as I said before for all, most of these drawing letter length of l and so on all of those operators blocks are mostly used on uh, words letters and numbers so if you have some kind of games with those or some kind of checking of the letters of, of the words and so on you can use them um, i will use it in my game here only because uh, i'm explaining all of the blocks but for some kind of other games or some kind of uh, usual game schedule i don't know i will probably never ever use it again okay let's just make some kind of new question here i will duplicate the old one and i will uh, ask the cat um, to help uh, this girl uh, with uh, uh, answering uh, yeah I need the question first so let's let's go to sensing ask what will I I ask the cat here um, I will ask uh, what's the third letter or of the word apple it's like some kind of her homework so she needs help with answers and the cat will help her it doesn't make much sense for 
us, but that's the way to do it here. Okay, the question will be, what's the third letter of the word apple? And the answer should be P, right? So if the answer is P, say cool. I will. Um, why I'm det detaching this and attaching it every time? Uh, well, because if I haven't uh, detached this here, I will have to wait for this question after the first one, then after the second one, and then my question will be asked here. So instead of uh, every time I will have to uh, answer this question, this question, which will, will take more time, so instead of that I will just detach it like this and test this question only. Okay, let's test it. What's the third letter of the word apple? If the answer is P. Cool, thank you very much. And that's it. Okay, very simple, very stupid, but that's it. Uh, uh, what we can do else here, again, as we do, if you remember the last question, same goes here, instead of typing this P every time, I could just do this so I will even uh, uh, this will help us here for a little but not uh, in total I will uh, have to explain that uh, with couple of new blocks here very very soon so don't worry but what are we doing here again now I'm just uh, uh, making my life easier if I want to change the questions later so instead of uh, if I want to change this later from apple to banana and then again type uh, if I didn't have here I would have to count type count this manually one two three the third letter is n and I will I would have to type it like that and every time uh, I change this word here I would have to change this here instead of that I will just change the word here and the scratch will uh, count that letter for me with this letter 3 of which we have just learned here okay so um, that's it for this lesson I'm going to touch this question here so you can see how easy you can be build some kind of uh, quiz uh, question answer game uh, just like uh, this, uh, copy paste uh, questions and answers and change them a little bit and that's all cool, we will also see how to improve all of that uh, very very soon and how to make uh, those quiz games more complex and more interesting uh, but in the short uh, that's it, that's how those are made and uh, the only thing which we lack here is some kind of reward we will have to add some kind of reward later at the end if the cat answers all the questions right and also what we lack here is some kind of um, punishment if the cat uh, makes the answer uh, wrong what will happen then so uh, maybe you will lose some points or something like that we'll think about it but this is it for this this uh, video we will uh, continue with explaining a couple of more operators block and making our game more and more complex and that's uh, for uh, that's what we are going to do in a few next lessons uh, until then thanks for watching and uh, keep on learning keep on sharing the knowledge with your friend with your neighbors and uh, that's it for now bye for now